So any questions on that one? So my demo man's just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> One more bound back would I cover? Один. Переробить перебіжку, поки я крию. So you're gonna have two men at the front of the stretcher party. Lads, I want to see this at all times. Хлопці, дівчата, я хочу, щоб ви це робили to deal with the casualty. Okay, again, communication. Bruce? Yes! Good. We leave the tourniquet tight, put the bandage on, and then we can loosen it up. <coughs> now, can anyone from yesterday remember when you... Yeah, yeah. On his back, yeah? Yeah. back, yeah. Anyone? Тобто пов'язку ми накладаємо не занадто туго. Тобто крового обігу і тепер ми можемо накласти пов'язку. Чи є якісь запитання? Якщо порануєш. Чи є 20 тих, які зі сходках випадків? Тобто мій демо мене зараз... So good afternoon, uh, my name is Mikola and I'm here on um, Interflex, actually on, uh, at Operation Interflex trying to become a soldier. When I get deployed to the battlefield I will know what to do. I won't panic because during this exercise I will gain the necessary not, not only the necessary knowledge, but also the muscle memory to immediately be aware of what exactly should I do in a specific case whenever I end up on the battlefield. 
so Interflex is very much a sort of plug and play uh, training package, which you know anybody anybody can do. And NATO partners have got a huge uh, huge amount they can add and contribute. Um, I find here that. Uh, when I'm working with some of our partners from Estonia or New Zealand, they have methods of training which you know we can learn from, and it's it's really good to get different nations involved, and it makes all of us better. It's not just about uh, training the Ukrainians, but it's also about making ourselves better instructors for for future iterations of of Interflex. It's always nice to teach things you're passionate about as well, but then with the added, I suppose, weight of the importance that this particular operation carries. These people have come here, and they are. This is very new to them. They're going through a rigorous course and then they will go back to Ukraine and defend their country. So I'm proud to be a part of it. Ukraine was illegally and barbarically um, invaded. They obviously have an inherent right to defend themselves as any country should have um, when suffering an illegal invasion. Um, I think it's important for us to send a message to Russia that NATO is unified and remains steadfast in its support for Ukraine as they bravely defend their country.